This week is more about the upcoming consoles and the problem with pre-orders of all the new tech and also a bit on the performance of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So stay tuned. Hey what is happening guys this is Orca from Orca's Gaming Corner and welcome to another week of gaming news. So we know that the pre-orders for the Sony's PS5 was a mess. We all watched their last showcase where they revealed the price of the console and then later on via Twitter or PlayStation blog, I am not exactly sure, Sony stated that the pre-orders will start on the very next day of the show. Immediately after that all hell broke loose when some online stores like Walmart started their pre-orders on the very same day. Hell they didn't even wait till the next day which was the official pre-orders date. So of course people could not get their hands on the PS5 and some of them started appearing on eBay later on at around a thousand dollars or even more. So that is how PS5 pre-orders were screwed. Now you might ask what about Xbox Series X? On the Xbox side an even more stupid thing happened. The naming of Xbox family of consoles is so stupid that a lot of people ended up buying the Xbox One X instead of the Xbox Series X. The Xbox One X sales rank on Amazon went up by 747%. That is just crazy. So all that happened in the past few weeks and it's all been really crazy and just when we thought that that was it. There was Nvidia's RTX 3080 launch which was another mess with no stocks at all. And just look at the line outside Micro Center in the middle of a pandemic. A line for a graphics card. Not for some new iPhone but for a graphics card. I'm telling you guys it's a good time to be a gamer. So yeah all the major pre-orders were pretty much screwed and now let's move on to some fresh news on PS5 and its capabilities. Okay, so Digital Foundry, the YouTube tech slash gaming channel did their analysis on the Demon Souls remake demo and guess what FPS and resolution the game was running at. It's 1440p at 60 FPS, not 4K. And I was like, what? Another title at 1440p. First it was the Unreal 5 demo. Now it is Demon Souls remake. Okay, so for those of you who have not seen my video on the Unreal 5 demo, you guys can find that video on the top right hand corner on the screen. So that demo looked incredible but was running at a native 1440p resolution at 30fps. So yeah, I'm having mixed feelings about the PS5's performance. I'm not saying it won't be good but I'd like it to be much more than just good if you know what I mean. On the other hand, the Xbox Series X seems to be doing really well. Firstly, Xbox acquired Zenimax Media. That means all the fallouts, all the Skyrims and the new and upcoming Starfield. And all of that will be on Game Pass on launch day. And just today we got to hear from news and other tech outlets who have already tried out the Xbox Series X that the console is a legit 4K 60 FPS machine at least on the current gen titles and that includes the Xbox back compat titles too. The loading times are exponentially improved and most of the games that ran at 30 FPS on the Xbox One X now runs at 4K 60 FPS, at least most of them, sourced via The Verge and Digital Foundry. I'll have the links below so that you guys can have a look for yourselves. Then there is the quick resume feature. Where you can simply play multiple games at a time and switch between them effortlessly with very less wait time mostly below 10 seconds now that sounds like a console which i'd like to have for myself so basically the thing is you need to understand that i am not a fanboy of any particular brand but i usually go for the best product at the best price and looks like xbox might deliver on that Sony just needs to show off their hardware a bit more. Can you believe that we have not actually seen the hardware live? And let the critics try it out, do a teardown and tell us exactly what the PS5 can do because at the moment we have one demo running at 1440p 30fps and one major title running at 1440p 60fps that does not inspire confidence 
about the performance of the PS5 especially when both the PS5 and the Series X were marketed as 4K 60 or 120 FPS consoles with even support for 8K visuals. Now the other problem that Sony might face is that the Series S which is supposed to be a much weaker console also is ideally supposed to play games at 1440p 60fps and if that actually happens and if the Series S can actually deliver on the marketing then which console is Sony exactly competing with? Is it the Xbox Series X or the Series S? And lastly the PS5 of course cannot beat the value of Game Pass. Having said all that, we still have not seen how the Series X will perform with the next gen games like the upcoming Assassin's Creed Valhalla and other new titles. Yeah, I know they showed Halo Infinite but that game looked more like a game from a previous generation than a next generation game. So in conclusion, I feel that the Xbox has definitely gained a lot more ground this month in the console war and we still have to wait and see what the PS5 and the Series X can do with the new games. Sony just needs to show us some more hardware with the actual console in front of cameras and something like Spider-Man Miles Morales or Demon Souls running on it and maybe a bit of the new UI and those super fast SSD features that would get people pumped up for the next gen consoles. With that, I'm ending this video. Like, share and subscribe to my channel Orcus Gaming Connor and I'll see you next week with some more gaming news.